Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Kadama Woodworks and more importantly, welcome to the Center for Furniture Craftsmanship. This is like one of my favorite places in the entire world. We're in the workshop building right now, which has 13 benches in it, I believe, and just so many tools at our disposal. All perfect, all the time. And that's not even kind of part of the tools because in the machine room, we have so many tools and they're tuned like once every other week. And it's great because they're perfect. And my tools are at home aren't like that because I don't spend the time to tune them every other week. But it's just, everyone here is great. Everyone's happy because everyone spends all day making things. And even though it's stressful sometimes when things don't work out quite right, it's still great. So what we actually did today is we filled that trash, those three trash cans and that trash can full of sawdust because we had to flatten our boards for our tabletops. And those aren't in any way, shape, or form regular. And so we had to create a perfect parallel plane on that. So what we did is we have this contraption set up right here. It's got this rail right there, which is perfectly parallel and flat with this rail right here, which allows this sled to move back and forth and this router to slide side to side. And that creates a plane of spinning blades, which gets our boards nice and flat on both sides. So let's go take a look at mine. I'm getting by with my collapsible lung and it's a good time, 100% of the time now. Like a ladder with a missing rung and it's a slow climb, headed back to the sky and I so now it's design time and I am so bad at design and I have been struggling with what I'm going to do for my coffee table for pretty much the past five hours just alone. But right now we've got this really nice piece of very, very curly walnut with a nice knot in it. I love it so much. And for the base, I'm kind of thinking about going for something like that. I don't really know exactly yet. But that's where I'm at right now. We'll see where it ends up. Until we wither away. Until we wither away. Between the miles of open road. Outside of what might matter. I stumbled into the trade So I'm terrified for this glue up. <laughs> Normally what you do with the butterfly inlays is you put them in and then you sand them down flush with the surface afterward. But since I was feeling confident and decided to go with the charred butterflies, I can't do anything to them afterward and they have to be absolutely perfect at exactly the level I want because I can't sand them. So, what I've got going for this is I've got my butterflies with some blue tape. I took a wire brush and really ground that in there, so hopefully no epoxy gets on that. Got some paper to shield my padded pounding block from it. I've got my epoxy and some Schwartz. Yeah, it's a mix-all Schwartz, which I believe means black, but I have no clue. So, oh, and I've got about a bajillion toothpicks. Let's do it. I guess I got it.
wish I wish you were so So take this wine And drink with me Let's delay our misery Say tonight Fight the break of dawn Come tomorrow Tomorrow I'll be gone Say tonight Fight the break of dawn all right, so welcome to one of the wood rooms they have on campus here. I was planning on using this piece of nice cherry for my base, but cherry's kind of expensive. So since I'm burning it anyway, it's kind of gonna turn the same color, I think I'm gonna use this eight foot piece of beech here. Unfortunately, it's under a lot of wood, so I gotta move that. Time that I found her holding Jim, loving him. Then Sue came along, loved me strong. That's what I thought. Me and Sue, but that too. Time pain, paper rain. I know it's been done having one girl who loves you, right or wrong. We go strong. All right, so to attach the drawer to the bottom, this is pretty much as simple as you can get. I just made two little runners that will slide, have little slots for the rails of the drawer to slide in. And because it's going against the movement of the wood, 
just have these little figure eight things that are screwed in so that they can wobble and that'll count for the movement of the wood and I just heat glued them to make them look nicer in case anyone decides to take a peek underneath the table. That's all there is to it. I really am happy with how this build turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the above if you want. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to get to them. I also want to give a shout out to Bob and Tor Erickson who are the instructors who helped me do this at the Center for Furniture Craftsmanship. They are incredible workers and super nice people on top of that. You should definitely go check out their website. I'll link it in the description below. They are masters at what they do. And I also want to give another shout out to the Center for Furniture Craftsmanship because it is quite honestly my favorite place on the face of the earth. You should definitely check it out and if you get the chance, go there. I can't wait to go back. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.